Hello and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekend, the show I'm Malay, your host for this evening. Dare I say it, I like to say, or like I say, every other evening, I hope everyone's keeping fine out there. And you're all, well, you've all had a fantastic week, it's been probably bad weather right the way through, hasn't it, from the last week or so, but uh, hey ho, Grassroots Football still continues. And we've had a rainy day today at the North Liverpool JFL League. Um, well done to all the committees, and there was some presentations there as well. Um, well done to teams that have happened to win the Sophies, and commiserations to the teams that didn't. But one highlight, obviously, for this weekend was the minute silence for young Jordan Banks, who tragically lost his life during the week when he turned up to training at a Blackpool venue, which was. Oh, it devastated everyone in the grassroots family. So I just want to commend everyone who took part in the minute silence today. Well done to the committee for organising all that with all the teams, players, managers, parents, and referees as well. The spectators were brilliant, you know, everyone adhered to it. So it was fit and start to the day as well, albeit a rainy day, as we forecast, no doubt, but it wasn't as bad as last week. But um, well done to everyone who took part. Right, they've had some presentations, as I say, at the North Liverpool JFL, and there was one um, referee who didn't turn up, that was it, but um, they got on with it, another referee replaced them, which was very quick. I must admit, it was interesting day to day, even though it was weather. Um, Weather-wise, not too good again, you know, it's horrible for the referees out there as well. But hey ho, it's one of those things, it is winter football, it's winter, yeah, I suppose it is. Anyway, everyone took part and everyone was having a great day. And then, obviously, I've had to leave to come and do my show. But um, before we did, we had our photographer at the North Liverpool JFL. And I've got to thank the staff there as well, being brilliant with me as well. And they're going to be looking after us tomorrow when we turn up at the Jeffrey Humble. Don't ask me what time. They're going to be opening the main gates. Um, we're going to be running around and... Just a massive thank you basically to all the teams who have helped us out during the marathon run as well. So um, we're expecting around about 12.30, 12.45 because we don't know what we're going to be facing from Warrington into Liverpool. It's going to be a tough old run. That's if I'm capable and I can manage to run there as well. It's going to be hard. I've only done the 13.1 mile. Mm, nearly enough. 13 miles twice, I've walked 26 miles as well and that was really bad on the legs, couldn't walk after that for a day or two. This is a marathon run, are we up for it? I know one is, Paul Rukin, he's our marathon runner, not a problem with him, he knows he's aiming for a very quick run, but myself and Paul Cochran, now we're holding back, hoping that everything goes well and I was getting some stick today off the lads, who say I'll be in the van anyway. That's following, they'll just carry on, continue the run, but I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that I can do it, and um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I've been training hard, but when it comes to it, am I right, am I eating the right carbs, is the body right, is the breathing right, is the pace right, I don't know, but it's one of those things, I'm going to give it my best shot, I didn't even get my physio this week, he was too busy, um, so I'm hoping that the legs hold out as well and the feet hold out and you name it, the whole body holds out. It's one of those things, never done a marathon run in my life, always wanted to, um, not at this late stage obviously, it's just one of those things where you train late and you've decided to do a run and thank you very, very much indeed to Paul Rukin, Paul Cochran, um, to Chris, to uh, Matt, to Sophie, to Colin, the two Collins, the brilliant, who are jumping on board with us and going to help us through this and hopefully spare us on. And Chris from One Call Taxis has been brilliant, honestly. You, you've been a star, we don't know what to, what to expect of Chris. He turns up like there's no tomorrow. We, the support's going to be there. We just hope we can get through it and we don't hold any traffic up. We shouldn't do really because we are care run. We're not motorway running. Um, but we're next to the M62. I'd love to have run down the M62 doing this marathon straight run. It would have been brilliant. 
on the hard shoulder. Yeah, that would have been it. Straight on, get on with it. And probably would have been quicker for us anyway. But hey ho, the time has come. I have to get some rest, I have to study, I have to take take it easy. No, not as easy. And what I do as well, I was out at the football and at least I'm passing the football tomorrow during the rumble. Fingers crossed we can get there. And if you're there, teams please on our route. We're coming in from the M62, obviously into Whiston, past Whiston Hospital, we're coming through Dovecourt Heighton, um, if in that order. And we're halfway stages, the kids' nursery, and that's between um, Alder Hay, just in between that, that's 13 mile. So if you're out and about on those routes that we're doing onto Queen's Drive, and you see us, give us a beep on the horn, give us a, a wave, a clap, and you know, the lads will have buckets on the on the, the bus if you want to donate anything brilliant just go to them they'll stop they won't be no problems with that or they may even jump out and collect a couple of bob off you as well so if, you, if you're feeling generous then please support us it'd be fantastic we've got Sophie at the Walton Curtail JFL and we can't thank the staff enough for being brilliant with us as I say they're, they're there day in day out they're going to open the main gates when we come through we'll be running around the main Pitches, not on the grass, um, unfortunately, but it would have been muddy and soggy. we just got to get our feet right for hard running um, and just hope that we get there. And it, it's a long, hard slog. I've got to face, face Rice Lane after that one, and that has killed me every time I have run. For some reason, it's a stretch of the run that I'm not looking forward to. Everything else doesn't seem to bother me, but the Rice Lane, the hill, the underground that we go down and come back up and it really really gets to me i just hope that for some reason something kicks me on spares me on the lads are taking jelly babies and anything to do with whatever they've got in the van i don't know i am um, i don't know what i'm taking i just don't know water yeah i'll be sipping water um i brought some fruit pastels don't know whether they'll work. People are telling me jelly babies, but I did do that once and I felt a little bit sick when I had the jelly babies. Any tips? Maladontextheline.com, get them in straight away to me. There's a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social network sites, please, if you don't mind. And let's just see if you can help us and spare us on uh, for this well-deserved run that we've trained for for many, many months. Indeed, hoping to finish it, hoping to get through it. And then at the end of it, I hope to hand some cash over, but I'll let you know exactly. We've got a raffle there to do as well. And we'll let you know when that takes place. Look forward to do that over the next couple of weeks. But in the meantime, enjoy your football and make sure that each and every one of you are absolutely spot on with the referees. So loads of respect, please, if you don't mind. And we had last night our... Um, young commentators and we had a meeting with them and they're sitting social distancing of course and we give them some questions what when i say questions they're a bit of homework and they were getting on with it about what they'd like to call uh, the program that we're doing the name give it a name like we've got from the national lottery the welcome and all project we want the kids to come up with a name for when they go out reporting and we just want them to enjoy it and feel more confident and I'm looking forward, I really am looking forward to the names because they were very, very interested set up on it or set up on it and making sure that they were coming up with something catchy. And they've still gone away thinking and writing things down as well. And obviously we had apologies for three of the lads, so if you're watching, tuning in, come up with a nice catchy name, what you think the project should be called when you go out interviewing. There's all names, you know, I, like we called Don't Cross the Line, I was giving them ideas about advertising and about what they can call it, what sort of brands kick in, McDonald's kicks in, everything kicks in, doesn't it? And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about all the kids making up a name for the young commentators, which is brilliant. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the next week as well. But I had a great time with them. Took some great photographs of them studying on the um, with Wayne. Thanks for Wayne as well for turning up. It was great, we, I must admit. Well done to all the young commentators who turned up and put their spoke in, should we say. They're getting used to it, the confidence is building, and when the microphones come out, 
beware of these kids I tell you that now because they'll be primed and ready to go and I'm looking forward to seeing them in action it won't be long now either but well done as I say to Wayne to all the young commentators and to everyone in the building with us the community building who, who looked on especially Tilly's as well waved in they got sweets got cakes biscuits they're spoiled for Joey's our young commentators and I tell you not a problem with them anyway I had a great night last night it went well we were going to put a show on but we decided no this is part and parcel of their training program getting the confidence build up and we've also got Toffee TV and Redmen TV on board for the kids as well wow that's going to be unbelievable can't wait going to take them to a studio and they're going to interview the interviewees yes they are so well done to all our young commentators and they were really set up on that one you know what it's not just about football not about sport and activities the kids can come up with anything and i'm sure there'll be questions all thrown in how the kids can get involved and what the young commentators will be doing when they commentate on a junior football match that should be really interesting looking forward to hearing them doing that one but as I say, in the meantime, we're still on the weekends of grassroots football and we still want respect, please, on and off the field of play. Wherever you are, that's what we want. We want to see you looking after the referees, keeping the referees within the game. And well done to Connor as well. Brilliant, brilliant email he sent out to all the parents and to all the managers as well on how to respect the referee and how to make sure that their behaviour is spot on when they go to watch the kids' football. Brilliant. Well done to Connor. And well done to Bob and Julie and all the staff there at the North Liverpool JFL doing a brilliant job. Every committee is doing a brilliant job when it comes to it. Well, we're coming up to the Premier League season, the end of it. Next week's the end, would you believe? Uh, it's a great year to get rid of, I must admit. It hasn't been well done to Man City for all the hands up, winning the league, getting into the Champions League final, Carabao Cup. They had a great season um, and it still isn't over yet. We're challenging for the Champions League. It's a great win for us against Manchester United. I was over the moon that the players did turn up and started performing. Can they go on and win the next three games? Well, it's down to us, it's down to our teams. Why not? All these teams go and win six in a row, seven in a row. We need to win another three in a row to put us in with a good chance there. And we're hoping that Leicester or Chelsea may slip up too. They've got to play themselves. I think it's today, Leicester and Chelsea, I'm not too sure, or it could be this Tuesday. But I'm in a fantasy league, I'm up there, I'm very close, so uh, I need some goals off my players please, and I need loads and loads of points to put me ahead, but I was way ahead at the start, and now I think there's about four or five chasing me, or I'm behind one at least, so it's going to be close on the fantasy league as well. We've got plenty of time of the show, and I'm just to let you know that I'm still waiting on my laptops, two laptops, would you believe, the two of them throws and they're in between and apparently Microsoft put in a program and it updates it without you knowing and it's Windows and it's suddenly it, one of the computers, one of my laptops, that crashed and within a couple of days then the other one done exactly the same, that crashed and I was fuming because I've got that McAfee, why doesn't that stop it? I'm paying a fortune for that one, this is an antivirus, that wasn't a virus that's gone in so I've had to send my two laptops in for repair and I'm still waiting on, on a phone call and um, hope it's not a bigger job than what I thought they need to save the files we've got some important files on there it's all about the football many many years and some great images as well that I just do not want to lose so fingers crossed the lads can save my day and if they do they're going to get great mentions on here I assure you and I'll recommend them who to go to but they're working hard on them and I just hope that I get a call today or tomorrow that they're ready because they work over the weekends so I'm made up with them and that helps me massively I assure you not too sure when I get a show, show done tomorrow um, but fingers crossed I just made it I may come out later on and record a show for the Sunday because we've got the big run as I say that big marathon run tomorrow so um, I'm not too sure whether I can get a show on the road but I'll try my very very best and I know the Premier League starts again this week. The teams are all shattered now. They're all playing two, three games in a week. And as I say, it'd be great to see Liverpool turn up against Manchester United. I really couldn't understand why they dropped the first team 
against uh, Leicester City, to be honest. If you basically threw that away, put the top team in against us, because they're saying they couldn't play the, all those players in three games. Three games in five days, 200 grand a week. I think I'd have a real good go at it. Don't lock yourselves out there, but hey ho, would you play seven days a week if that's the money that you were getting? I certainly would make an effort and try my very, very best indeed. Anyway, we just need all your support, please, because I've got to take it easy, as I say, for this run. We're going to end up coming down Longmore Lane by Jacobs there. Anyone knows that one? We're going into Jeffrey Humble, and then we've got six and a half mile, I think, to finish the marathon. It's going to be a real slog. If I can get over Rice Lane in one piece, I've got no problem. I think I'll have the confidence to do it then. So I'm on the carbs, I'm on the water. Yeah, I'm having a cup of tea now and again, but it's black tea, no milk. I just don't want to be eating the right food and I get the right sleep as well before I can get out and about. But I've had to relax. I'm ready to go, I want to do a little bit of a run, but people are telling me not to, just to relax and just get on with it. And as I say, I'm more worried that I didn't get my physiotherapy before this run to really loosen the body, make it ready for it. I'm going in with a tight body, all knotted probably everywhere, but let's just hope they all unknot and I loosen up while I'm running. I need to get my breath and I need to get in a stride straight away because I've struggled much lately. When I'm starting my stride, the breathing, the lot as if to say, I don't want to do this, but fingers crossed, I can get in a stride easy. It's eight o'clock in the morning that we're starting. And I'm hoping that we do finish it. I'll be tired tomorrow, as I say. Not too sure about me getting the show on. But if I do, I do. Now, if you're out and about in the Walton Kirtel, then please, please give us a round of applause. Spare us on. And we'll be thankful. May not say thank you, because we may not want to speak. We'll be looking down. But you could spare us on if you give us that round of applause. Stop your game if you want to and cheer us on. That, that'd be fantastic. If you don't mind, because it's going to be a hard slog, I assure you, coming from Warrington to Liverpool to the Town Hall, two Town Halls, let's just see if we can manage this and get some publicity as well. But as I say, at least the local paper has been in touch and we'll have a reporter with us taking some photographs if you don't mind and it'll look good. But again, a massive thanks to the uh, all the helpers, all the supporters who are helping us along the road and let's just hope it all goes to, according to plan. It's going to be a tough one, getting myself ready for it, get myself motivated. The lads are motivated, it was nice to see them today before the run with the photographer, some nice photographs taken there at the Geoffrey Humble site with the North Liverpool JFL League. So, um, well, we'll be back again tomorrow to do that and fingers crossed, hopes that I can make it. There you go, we've come to the end of our show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about going on too much about the run, but whatever you are, even tomorrow, whatever all your games are, your minute silence, please, for young Jordan, and also, please, show loads of respect for our referees. We want to keep them within the game. We want to keep them refereeing. We don't want them chased away from the game. They're hard to come by. One or two shortages at the moment. We don't know what it's going to be like by next season. The season is extended till the 26th of June. The cup games are coming in now, so that means a lot more well, not hospitality, but hostility towards the referees because cups seem to get the worst out of some of the spectators. So we don't want that. Loads of respect on and off the field of play. In the meantime, thank you very, very much indeed for tuning in to the Grassroots Show. Hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with the show. In the meantime, put your feet up, relax, stay safe, and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Just wish me luck this marathon from all of us here the don't cross the line respect program and all our volunteers from paul and paul cochran and paul rookin we we'll see you tomorrow at seven have a great evening good night <laughs>